The book of Corinthians in the Bible refers to two epistles, letters written by the Apostle Paul to the Christian community in Corinth, a major city in ancient Greece. These letters are known as 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, and they form an essential part of the New Testament. Below is a detailed summary of each letter. Number 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 1, Corinthians. Authorship and context. Author. The Apostle Paul. Date. Approximately AD 53 to 54. Purpose. Paul wrote 1 Corinthians to address various issues and problems within the Corinthian church, which he had founded during his missionary work. The church was struggling with internal divisions, immorality, and confusion over theological issues. Key themes and content. 1. Divisions in the church. Chapters 1 to 4. Paul addresses the issue of factions within the Corinthian church, where members were aligning themselves with different leaders, Paul, Apollos, Cephas, or Christ. He emphasizes that the wisdom of God, not human wisdom, should be the foundation of their faith. Paul also stresses that Christ is the foundation of the church, and the apostles are merely servants. 2. Moral and Ethical Issues, Chapters 5-7. Paul confronts a case of incest in the church and admonishes the community for not disciplining the offender. He discusses lawsuits among believers, urging them to resolve disputes within the church rather than going to secular courts. Paul addresses issues of sexual immorality, urging believers to honor God with their bodies. He provides guidance on marriage, celibacy, and divorce, emphasizing the sanctity of marriage and the importance of remaining faithful. 3. Food Sacrifice to Idols, Chapters 8 to 10. Paul discusses the issue of eating food sacrifice to idols, a common practice in Corinth. He advises believers to consider the consciences of weaker Christians, who might be led into sin, by seeing others eat such food. Paul also emphasizes that while believers have freedom in Christ, they should not use their freedom in ways that might cause others to stumble. 4. Worship and Spiritual Gifts, Chapters 11-14. Paul addresses proper conduct in worship, including the role of women, and the observance of the Lord's Supper. He provides detailed instructions on the use of spiritual gifts, particularly speaking in tongues and prophecy. Paul emphasizes that love is the greatest spiritual gift and should guide all actions within the church. 5. The Resurrection, Chapter 15. Paul provides a comprehensive explanation of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and its implications for believers. He argues that without the resurrection, Christian faith would be in vain. Paul describes the resurrection body and the victory over death through Christ. 6. Final Exhortations Chapter 16 Paul gives instructions for a collection to support the Jerusalem church. He closes with personal greetings, travel plans, and final admonitions to stand firm in the faith. Number 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 2, Corinthians. Authorship and context. Author. The Apostle Paul. Date. Approximately AD 55 to 56. Purpose. Paul wrote 2 Corinthians to defend his apostleship, address criticisms from false apostles, and encourage the Corinthians in their faith. This letter is more personal and emotional compared to 1 Corinthians. Key themes and content. 1. Paul's defense of his ministry, chapters 1 to 7. Paul begins by expressing his comfort in suffering and the comfort God provides in difficult times. He defends his integrity and actions, explaining why he had changed his travel plans, and emphasizing that his decisions were made in the best interests of the Corinthians. Paul encourages forgiveness for a repentant individual who had caused grief in the church. He discusses the new covenant in Christ and the ministry of reconciliation, stressing that believers are ambassadors for Christ. 2. Generosity in the Collection for the Saints, Chapters 8 to 9. Paul encourages the Corinthians to contribute generously to a collection for the poor believers in Jerusalem. He commends the Macedonian churches for their generosity despite their poverty and urges the Corinthians to follow their example. 
Hull emphasizes that giving should be voluntary, cheerful, and motivated by love. 3. Paul's Defense Against False Apostles, Chapters 10-13. Paul defends his apostolic authority against accusations from false apostles, who were trying to undermine his ministry. He contrasts his humility with the arrogance of the false apostles, boasting only in his weaknesses to highlight God's strength. Paul recounts his sufferings and trials, emphasizing that his hardships authenticate his apostleship. He warns the Corinthians to examine themselves to ensure they are in the faith, and prepares them for his upcoming visit. 4. Final Warnings and Exhortations Chapter 13 Paul urges the Corinthians to strive for unity, peace, and spiritual maturity. He gives final greetings and a blessing, emphasizing the importance of love in the presence of the Holy Spirit among them. Number 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 significance of 1 and 2 Corinthians. The letters to the Corinthians are significant for several reasons. Practical guidance. These letters provide practical advice for dealing with a wide range of issues within the church, including divisions, moral conduct, worship practices, and the use of spiritual gifts. Theology. Paul's teachings on the resurrection, the new covenant, and the nature of Christian ministry are foundational to Christian theology. Pastoral care. The letters reveal Paul's deep pastoral concern for the Corinthian believers and his willingness to confront difficult issues for the sake of their spiritual growth. Overall, the books of 1 and 2 Corinthians offer a rich and complex portrait of early Christian life and the challenges faced by a diverse and dynamic church community.